everybody, Keith Elson with the Trombo Shop at Schmidt Music. So it is a balmy 10 degrees here in Minnesota today. And as I was driving into work, I was thinking about Trombo Lubricants because why would I not be? And I realized that while um, a lot of the liquid lubricants, you know, I've heard conversations about and I've experienced why you don't want to have the lubricants, um, you know, in you know hot situations. You don't leave them in hot cars um, because they tend to denature. They they really get very thin, runny. They they don't work the same anymore. I don't think I've seen the same conversations about cold weather. So. Given what's going on outside here today, I thought, boy, maybe this would be a chance to put a few of the most popular liquid lubricants to the freezing test. Leave them outside for a little while and see what happens with them. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at four of the most popular liquid slide lubricants out there, namely the classic Slidomix two-part formula, the Slidomix Rapid Comfort um, all-in-one formula, the uh, Yamaha liquid lubricant and uh, a, a liquid uh, slide lube from Ultrapeer. Now, interestingly, looking at the labels, um, a few of these actually do mention cold temperatures. The Ultrapeer uh, says if it freezes, make sure to let it thaw entirely. And on the Slotomix All-in-One uh, Rapid Comfort, it says uh, protect from frost. So I guess we're gonna see what happens here. Um, I wanna take a quick look at the viscosity of each of these so we can see, basically get a before and after, see what's happening with all of these. Then we're gonna put them outside. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Slidomix here. Take a little bit of this, and by the way, all of these have been shaken up. Good, so we can see kind of the, the general viscosity there. Good, kind of got that, you know, little bit thick, a little bit of the white color to it. And then of course, I don't expect to see anything special out of the silicone here. So looks thin, looks like silicone. Then we have the Slidomix Rapid Comfort All-in-One. Very good, it's got a little bit of that, that thicker character to it. Again, kind of the milky white color. This is the Yamaha liquid lubricant. And, and again, it has that character a little bit thicker than the others, you know, a little bit stringier. Um, one of the names for this, of course, we know is Yama Snot, and you can kind of understand why. And then we've got the Ultra Pier all in one. Again, the, the, the overall viscosity is a little bit more similar to the uh, Slidomix Rapid Comfort. All right, so we have got our lubricants outside here now. And so what we are gonna do is I'm gonna leave these out here for about four hours or so. And then I'm going to grab them, bring them back inside, and I'm gonna let them sit and thaw overnight. You know, and so a lot of times, again, the same thing happens with uh, the lubricants, you know, the slide mix, for example, when it gets really hot, even once it's cooled back down, um, it's still, it, it's not the same. It's really thin, runny. It, it doesn't work the way it did before. So I want to give these a chance after they've frozen to come all the way back to a normal room temperature and see how they're working. So we're going to leave them here and we'll go come back to it tomorrow and see how everything is going. So it's 24 hours later. So again, I left these sitting out for about four or five hours yesterday. Uh, brought that back, them back in yesterday afternoon, let them sit overnight, coming back to room temperature, thawing, and they did freeze. When I brought them in, they were all rock solid. So they had really frozen. Brought them back to room temperature here. So now we're gonna go back and check the viscosity. Did we see any change in you know how these lubricants feel and thus you know how they're going to work for us, how effective they're gonna be after freezing? So again, like before, I did give these a good shake here right before I started filming. So we're gonna start off with the Slidomix Classic here. Again, just give it a quick shake and check it out. You know, the viscosity is similar. I gotta tell you though, I think it is a touch runnier, not bad. Um, but I do think it is just a little bit thinner than it was uh, before we put it outside yesterday. So I think I am noticing a little bit of a change there. Now, again, I wouldn't expect to notice a change here, but we'll check the silicone here just to be thorough. And again, feels like silicone. No big surprise there. Now, we'll check the Slidomix Rapid Comfort. Yeah, 
You know, what's interesting with this, it's almost thicker than it was before. You can see when I put it on, it's almost a little stringy there. Um, the viscosity, the thickness actually reminds me more of what the, the Yamaha feels like, um, which is really interesting there. So it's not bad. I mean, I can, it's thicker. I think, you know, it still feels like it's sticking on there. So I actually don't know if this was necessarily a bad thing. If anything, I think it thickened up the Slidomix Rapid Comfort a little bit. Okay, so this is the Yamaha liquid lubricant. We're going to put it on here. So I would say initially the viscosity is about the same. However, you know, after the initial application, it does seem a little bit thinner to me. That's one of the things I noticed about the Yamaha is it does stay a little bit thicker, not tacky necessarily, but you can feel it a little bit more. And this does seem a little bit thinner than I think it was before we left it outside. And finally, we've got the Ultra Pure here. And here, and I already know I could hear it even before I started putting on, it, it sounds a lot thinner. And sure enough, it is, it's very runny. Before, the thickness reminded me a lot more of the, uh, the slide mix. It was quite a bit thicker. It had, a, you know, a little bit of that stringy character to it. Now it's very watery. So this is actually what I've experienced with, for example, the slide mix when it's gotten really, really hot before. Um, yeah, I mean, I think all of these changed a little bit. This one definitely changed. The freezing process was not good for it at all. So the original question was, does freezing our most popular liquid slide lubricants affect their usefulness affect their you know their thickness their viscosity how well they're going to work for us and i think the answer is yes now i haven't put any of these on slides yet but just in comparing them from where they were before we you know there are some obviously some differences now they weren't all as drastic as we saw with the ultra pure um you know this one again it i mean it went from being you know fairly viscous to being extremely watery now if you put it on is it going to help lubricate the slide some Yes, but it's not going to be like it was before. And, you know, we, we certainly noticed some differences. The Yamaha, I thought, was a little bit thinner. The, the classic Slidomix was a little bit thinner. And interestingly, um, I thought the Slidomix Rapid Comfort with anything was a little bit thicker. Now, does that mean that we'd want to go through and freeze our bottles of this before we use them? Probably not. Again, I noticed with all of them, even if the initial you know, viscosity hadn't changed that much, it didn't seem like they necessarily lasted as long. They didn't say, you know, stay um, you know, as apparent on the finger. So I do wonder about how effective that they would be on the slide over the long term here. Moral of the story, I think, is try to keep our slide lubricants at you know, moderate temperatures, room temperatures, um, you know, not too hot, not too cold. Obviously, it's the wrong time of year to really heat these up. I might do another one this coming summer to, again, kind of go through how they act in hot weather. But I think it's safe to say try to keep them as, as moderate temperatures as possible. I think that's going to keep everything working well. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, if you have any comments about the video, if you've had experiences with this or anything you noticed, feel free to leave your comments below. If you like the video, think about giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, think about subscribing to our channel and you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching everybody.